video is going to be something a little bit different from what I usually post. It's going to be a story time, and today's story time is going to be about the time that I met the scandalous Jeffree Star, you guys. So, um, I'm going to rewind a little bit and do a little backstory. I met Jeffree Star back in the day before he ever made a YouTube channel, before he ever uh, made a makeup line, before he was ever known in the beauty community. I met him back in the day when he used to do music. Um, he was like popping on MySpace back in the day and I was really hard into like MySpace bands like I was a huge fan of Broken Side if you guys know them, The Millionaires, Teen Hearts, um, what was it, I Said to Kill, like a lot of like bands I was like back in the day like 2008. 2007 2008 and 2009 so back in the day I, when i used to live in the high desert there was like this club called club karma it was like the biggest thing in the desert you guys we didn't have no clubs or nothing in the desert like it was nothing up here when they opened club karma like that was the place to be on the weekend so i went that weekend to go actually see broken side now this is back like i said 2008 i was 17 i'm 26 now so yeah it was a while ago and i actually went there like i said to see broken side and um the millionaires were there and i'm pretty sure teen hearts was there too all in the same night and actually jeffree star was playing too now i was not a fan of just jeffree star i did not know who he was i really didn't hear his music i heard a couple songs through my ex-best friend um he's kind of the one that put me on to jeffree star so um saw broken side live they were amazing saw jeffree star i was like well, it was okay and then saw teen hearts and um us was there and saw the millionaires so after the bands play back in the day you automatically get a meet and greet like you didn't have to pay for the meet and greet or nothing like nowadays you have to pay like vip and all this kind of stuff it was free so after the bands play they get off the stage you get the meet and whatever so i'm taking the picture with seven from broken side god i gave him a kiss and whatever i did not take a picture with the millionaires um i was kind of feeling a little bit salty because one of them stepped on my hand during the performance and i was like no nah, i'm not taking a picture but yeah you guys know the millionaires for being on the backgrounds club which is melissa and i think it was allison from yeah, the backgrounds club they were the millionaires first so um yeah then comes the jeffree star i wasn't really going to take a picture with him i really didn't care like i didn't know of him or anything like that but my friend was like oh you know meet him whatever so i went up there i was like hi my name is allison i just took a picture just take a picture and he was like hey what's up girl like you know how sass he is and um yeah i was just like can i take a picture he was like yes yeah, so whatever took the picture and um what was that oh anyways like yeah i took the picture that was it i was like whatever so then you guys this is like the part that's like <laughs> but anyways you guys i'm gonna put a picture actually right here of like when we met it was embarrassing like back in the day i had like red hair i wore like the fishnet gloves i had the little studded braces i we used to wear like a bandana around my neck like around my mouth it was a mess but anyways um <laughs> so yeah after that i went home whatever that was it now mind you this is years later okay i had a youtube like way like in 2008 for music i was all into music that's why i started going to club karma it was like on music now years later i made this youtube channel which was like beauty fashion lifestyle whatever then jeffree star came out with his youtube channel and he started doing beauty he did, didn't do music anymore he just did beauty so you know i subscribed like oh i remember him from club karma blah 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 then the scandal comes out where i see the videos that he's saying the n-word he's calling this girl a dirty mexican he's telling this black girl to put acid on her face so she can lighten her skin and i'm just like the time that these videos came out was in 2007 and 2008 when i met him and i'm just like if i would have knew he was like this i would have never took the picture like i literally posted the picture was talking about it and like literally when i found out this came out i deleted the picture i deleted like everything i'm just like i feel so stupid for like and if he felt that way, why did he take a picture of me? Like, clearly, he don't like us. So, yeah, it was just crazy. So, um, I didn't know how to feel about that when I came out. I'm just like, what? And then the whole video came out. He apologized. I'm just like, did you apologize because you're sorry? Or did you apologize because it's going to affect your brand? Like, I had to think a little bit about that. Like, hmm. But 
don't know the reason why i brought this up is i've been seeing him come up in my timeline a lot and i mean like on instagram on twitter like a lot of people are he's coming out with like this new thing of on his makeup and a lot of people are posting about him so i was just like you know let me just get this story time out now because i've never bought his music i've never bought a beauty product of his and i just want kind of want to make this story time um i don't know i'm not like I don't know, I'm not taking sides. I'm just telling you guys my experience of meeting him and like what I think about the whole scandal thing. But wow, so where I stand now is I'm just a little old YouTuber on here talking about my experience. So take that for what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know what the point of this video was, but I kind of just wanted to talk about it because I keep seeing him. So I'm like, well, I just I met him. Wasn't a big deal. People are tensioning me over him. It's like whatever for me. Like I don't care. Laugh at my picture if you want to. But <laughs> anyways, you guys, if you guys ever met him, comment below. What do you guys think about him? What do you guys think about the apology? What do you guys think about his makeup brand? Let's let's have a conversation, you guys. Every all comments are welcome. If you want to come for me, come for me. Just comment. Okay. All right. See you guys later.